Hi, lovelies. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator, all around witchy fucking weirdo, Sasquatch enthusiast. Ask me. I'll talk to you about it. Then you'll probably question why you asked me. <laughs> and welcome to the free weekly reading. If you've never been here before, this is where I pull three piles of cards. You pick any and all that you're drawn towards. I then interpret those piles uh, to see what your week ahead is for you. But first, we talk a little bit about something called astro fuckery. So let's get into it. Guys, I really just kind of want to focus all our energy on this new moon solar eclipse coming up on the 30th. It is ruled by Venus. It's in the sign of Libra, ruled by Venus, and Taurus season, ruled by Venus. Also having a triple conjunction, our current one in Pisces, <laughs> happening on the 30th in uh, Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter. I think it conjoins Neptune earlier in the week, I think on like Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, by Saturday, by the 30th, uh, Jupiter is there too. So uh, this feels to me like an expanse of love. There is something here about our self-worth knowing what we are worthy of, knowing that we are worthy of love as we are, not at some fantastical point, not down the road when you've made that money or you've lost that weight or you've done the right things right here and right now. You are absolutely worthy of everything that is in your heart and that is calling towards you. Go towards it this week, you guys. Know that not only are you worthy, but it is your birthright to be fucking happy. So where is that for you? I think that's a really important question because guys, when new moons come up, this is about planting new seeds. This is beginning something new. So kind of pay attention to what's beginning and ending this week because eclipse season is like, expect the unexpected. Shit's all over the fucking place. But just pay attention because new cycles are happening here. I, I think um, also something here with our value system, guys, like something has changed or something might be changing by this weekend or maybe at some point in this week. So pay attention to any signs and symbols coming through because guys, all these planets in Pisces and just like all this expansion of love with Venus here, like this is, <laughs> this is just gorgeous stuff. I, I want to say maybe something important here would be to maybe ground <laughs> at this new moon uh, solar eclipse. Make sure to do something that kind of helps you feel like you're here inside your body or that we're right here and right now so we can continue to make the best choices possible, especially around something as grounding as planting new seeds for our future. What's important? Uh, what really, where has our value system changed here and how can we align with those new changes so we're truly going towards and, and after what's in our heart? Uh, and guys, just know that love doesn't have to be romantic. This can be friendship love. This can be familial love. This can be like, you know, love of our furry friends. This can be the love of the ocean or love of the earth. Where do we, where is our value system? What has changed here? And how do we get more aligned with it? So again, we're going deftly towards what we love. I think maybe the most important thing or the thing that keeps kind of popping out for me at this solar eclipse is just really planting those seeds around your self-worth, knowing who you are and what you're about, having clarity around that so that you can, again, choose those best choices for you and follow your heart's, <laughs> where your heart is calling to you. Where is your North Star right now? And, and especially if it has to do around something that truly makes your heart sing, you need to be there doing that thing 24 seven, especially if this has to do around like business or career, whatever again is calling you in your heart and your soul, answer that fucking call this week. Say yes. Say yes to yourself. Say yes to the new cycles and the new beginnings. Let go of some old shit that maybe has got to fucking go. I want to say with all these, this triple conjunction, the current one again, uh, in Pisces, this is a lot about forgiveness too. So where do we, where could we use some forgiveness? And especially when it has to do around love, how do we have some more compassion and empathy around maybe what the other person is going through, or maybe again, even for ourselves. So make sure if you're given all that love, that attention, that empathy and understanding towards others, make sure that you're doing it for yourself too. That's really fucking important guys. Uh, make sure that's a good reciprocal relationship. Guys, we need other people in order to thrive. We do. We're, we're creatures of connection. We can't help that. But we also got to work on that connection with ourselves too and not disregard our own story. So maybe there is, again, with Libra, this is the sign of like, uh, their phrase is, we are. Um, and in Taurus season is, I value. So, so how do we combine like what we're valuing around our most important relationships? And again, moving towards what makes our heart happy.
You deserve to be loved. You are worthy of love. And love is coming like a fucking tsunami for you. So where are you finding that? That's where you need to be. Be there. And I want to say it just last thing with this, and I said it earlier too, but be present with it. Allow yourself to really absorb everything that's coming for you and say yes. All right. If you guys have had enough of that shit, I certainly have. <laughs> I think it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, so, so hold tight. I, I, I genuinely feel like this new moon solar eclipse is going to be a beautiful one. So hold tight. Know where you're, have clarity around your values and go towards where you're getting that tsunami of love coming for you. You got this. It's going to be okay. We're all going to be okay, guys. And I think maybe, hopefully, that will be the most beautiful part of this, uh, with this new moon solar eclipse. It's also, I believe, the first uh, solar eclipse of the Taurus-Scorpio axis. So, uh, shit's popping off. Let's titty shake, guys. Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Last thing, I, last, last, last thing I want to say is that, guys, we do have Mercury retrograde coming up next month. We're going to be feeling that pre-shadow phase uh, by the 27th. Um, also, Pluto goes retrograde this week, and I'll post something up that day on that. Um, but yeah, just just know this week, uh, things might start to get a little bit hairy. So again, tune back into the love. How can I go towards what makes me happy? Uh, be in the moment. Be in the fucking moment. All right. All right. If you guys have officially had enough, let's go to the next screen. <laughs> Pick any and, every, any and all piles that resonate for you and I will interpret them. All right. See you guys in a second. All right. And if you got card pile number one, here we fucking go. Your first card, your first card is the king of wands. And yes, that is a lightning bolt on my middle finger. You guys best believe it. King of Wands, second card. It's a major arcana card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major movement forward. You got the Emperor. And then finally, you got the Seven of Wands. So let's fucking talk about it. So I want to say this week, um, if this is a, uh, you know, whoever's watching this, we might be dealing with an important male figure this week. Usually when a king shows up, this talks about a male figure, uh, your age or older showing up in the scene. Now, what I find interesting with this card pull is that the king of wands is kind of like the lower octave of the emperor. I mean, honestly, they're, they're kind of the same guy. I want to say that the king of wands is maybe a little more chill than, than the emperor is. Emperor is kind of like solid control. Like we've got this on fucking lockdown. Uh, king of wands still likes to be silly and have a good time. Uh, king, uh, I'm sorry, the emperor is like the ultimate fucking king. So he's got a whole kingdom to worry about. Like he's got everybody and everything under his rule that he's trying to take care of um, and really kind of direct things in the way that he feels best it would go. This is the ultimate protector. This is the ultimate masculine um, energy. And I want to say with the king of wands kind of moving into the emperor this week, somebody, an important male figure is taking an important leap or is taking an important step. This might be uh, maybe like a promotion at work. Maybe this is about them stepping into more leadership position within the family position, uh, really just kind of showing up in here in ways that maybe they've only been talking about. Now they're actually doing it. Um, and with the addition of the seven of wands here, this can talk about, at least in this deck, like advert, advert, hold on. <laughs> adversity and gossip. And so maybe we've been having some issues lately. I want to see dude, who gives a fuck what other people have to say. This card also talks about empowerment. And anytime this card comes up, it always makes me feel like you threw me to the wolves and I came back the leader. So go fuck yourself. Do you know what I mean? And I think with like this upward movement this week, uh, really kind of moving into a leadership fucking position. And it's an authoritative one. Like really, truly, you are the one in power. So there's a question mark this week, either around you personally, and maybe we've got some options on the table. Step into that leadership position. Do not let anybody and anything and their opinions get in the way. Don't let it cause any more adversity and bullshit and obstacles than it needs to. Stop that shit. Depend upon yourself in terms of what you think is the best pathway forward or refer to an older gentleman or someone your age or older here uh, that really is like the ultimate father figure. Uh, maybe Maybe this is your actual father. Maybe this is a husband. Maybe this is a best friend. Uh, whoever this happens to be this week, reference to that male figure. I feel like they're going to give you some incredible advice that's going to help you to take a step up and overcome whatever bullshit adversity is going on in your life this week. So yeah, if you pick card pile number one, you got this and you're going to fucking kill it. I fucking mean that. Um, I mean, not actually. Don't actually murder someone. Holy Jesus. But... <laughs> 
Maybe this is as simple as you start in your own business. It's just time to fucking do the thing. It's, it's fucking time. You've got all the information that you need. You got the charisma and you got the leadership. All you need now is to step into your power and make it fucking happen. Or again, if we're referencing or if we need help getting over some bullshit this week, uh, really helping us to like self empower, uh, tune in or ask an older male figure here, uh, to help you kind of take that step up. They're going to help with a perspective or give you some information, maybe even just life advice around ways that they stepped into their power too. You got this. You got this this week. You fucking got this. All right. And if you picked card pile number two, here's your beautiful cards. Your first one is the eight of coins. Second card is the king of cups. And the final card here is the ace of swords. So let's talk about it. So I want to see here with the eight of coins here, there's something, this is like steady employment. This is productivity. This is craftsmanship. This is something that we have been working on for a long motherfucking time. Um, maybe we keep coming back to the drawing board. We keep working on something. We're trying to replicate something here. We're trying to do it right. You're like getting to like a groove of something uh, so that we can really get moving and shaking. But like, man, this has taken a while. But again, it was worth it. Like there's something here around like uh, it was worth the effort, worth the time with the eight of coins. This is something that we've been invested in. And again, this is like uh, helping us improve upon our craftsmanship, what we bring to the table, how we're working on a project, whether this be like business, uh, love, friendship, family, it doesn't matter here. This is something that we've been working at for a while. Now with the King of Cups, added to this. This is, uh, I, I want to say that this maybe also has to do around our, like a really important relationship this week. Now with the King of Cups, this is usually a guy your age or older that shows up in the scene. Uh, the King of Cups is very chivalrous. Um, he's very, this is passionate feelings. Uh, there's a lot of love here and this guy is definitely up in his feels. Um, there's also sometimes two question marks around, uh, drinking here with the King of Cups. Uh, maybe sometimes we just do it for fun. Maybe sometimes we've got alcoholism issues. Uh, but with the King of Cups here and also with the Ace of Swords, um, I feel like this is more about the emotions and what we're going through. So I feel like with the Eight of Coins, the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords, uh, there's a new beginning here uh, around, uh, what it is that we've been building with this male figure with the King of Cups. Maybe also too this week, we finally work our way towards uh, maybe sharing some energy, sharing some feelings, uh, really going in there and speaking upon our relationship and what's most important to us. We're birthing new energy with the Ace of Swords here too. So there's some new thoughts or new talks here. And again, around those emotions with those feelings and coupled with the Eight of Coins, like we're looking at like our long-term progress, what we put into this relationship, what's most important. Maybe also too with the King of Cups here, maybe we've hurt this person's feelings. And, and we need to say, hey, they've been sitting on it a while. They've been thinking about it a while. And this is why it hurts them. Uh, maybe an I'm sorry will go a long fucking way. Uh, but also, too, it'll help birth a new beginning here around the way that you guys are communicating. So don't be afraid to say how it's. Oh, I want to say that you are safe this week if you pick card pile number two and being vulnerable around your own feelings and your thoughts on things. I think it's really important because you've also been thinking about this again for a while. So we've really crafted here uh, our words that we want to say, what's most important, what we value. We're bringing it to the table with an important male figure. We're sharing our value system, our love, um, our thoughts and our feelings so that we can get a new cycle, a new beginning. So just know whatever this plays into this week, again, work, love, any kind of relationship here, whatever the fuck's going on, this important male figure, sit down, have the words, say the things so that we can start this new cycle and keep this, keep this momentum going, keep this momentum going. This is beautiful stuff. So again, if you're worried about trusting and being vulnerable this week, please know that not only can you trust, but it's a really important time to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to say, I'm sorry. All right. And finally, if you guys pick card pile number three, here's your beautiful cards. Your first one is the three of coins. Your second card is a major arcana card, top of major change, major evolution, major movement forward. And guys, in my deck, I keep all my cards right side up. Don't fucking at me. I do what I want in my own tarot section of the universe. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but we got a reversed, the hermit. And then finally, we got the ten of wands. So I know whenever I get a reverse card, something's spirit's talking. 
All right. So with that being said, you guys, this week is all about our partnerships. Usually that first card talks me about what the theme is. So this week it's literally three of coins is partnerships. Who were we in partnership with? Now connected with the Hermit Reverse, we've been in a time of solitude thinking about this. I think at this point we know who we want to be in partnership with now. Uh, we're coming out of that cave and we're doing just fine. <laughs> Especially now that we have that clarity. So we're ready to go make uh, better choices for ourselves. And guys, next to the Ten of Wands, we're done with this cycle of hopelessness, uh, feeling betrayed, uh, feeling oppressed, just feeling like fucking miserable. Look at this shit. Look at this. That's just fucking sad. Can I also say here, though, too, with the, the wands that like at any point she can move away from the chandelier. I mean, so I just want to say to you guys, realize that maybe some of this has also been self-inflicted, not necessarily always with the other person, but how am I adding to this bullshit and how can I make this better? And I think this week, the way that we can make it better is having clarity around who we want to be in partnership with and who we fucking don't because we're done with this cycle of hopelessness and bullshit. We're done. We're done. We need partnerships that don't leave us feeling uh, totally zoned out. We deserve partnerships that are reciprocal, that are good, that have green flags more than red. God bless. <laughs> we deserve good, healthy, happy relationships. So who are we in partnership with now? Can I also say too, this is the perfect week uh, in order to close out those relationships that don't fucking work so we can let them go and open up space for the new relationships that we're ready to have now around true partnership. And guys, with the coins here, this can talk about something earthy, grounded, and practical within these relationships. This this needs to make sense, these partnerships. So this pie-in-the-sky bullshit or this stuff that burns for five seconds, out of here. I want something with staying power in terms of my partnerships. So where is that this week? Get rid of the, the quick burns. Get rid of the bullshit. Get rid of the hopelessness, the betrayal, all of that stuff. All of that stuff, guys. It's you, This is the perfect moment. Let it the fuck go. Open up the space for the partnerships that actually make sense. Can carry you in towards the future. Give you the safety and security that you've been looking for. Um, and really just, I think, make it very, very clear to you around who it is that you actually want to work with. What you want now. Something has changed. And I actually think that's a good thing. So well done. Get out of your cave. Go do some big shit. Make some room and recognize you deserve loving, good, equal, grounded partnerships. Mm. All right, you guys. I hope to God that fucking made sense. Uh, any and all feedback helps me to grow. Middle fingers for no. Caca for yes. Let a sister know. Let me know the pile that you chose too. Let me know if it resonated. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me the space so I can do the work that I love to do. I love you guys and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye guys, bye. <laughs>